I am obviously acutely aware uh, that my presence at this podium uh, represents a few firsts. Uh, I am a black gay immigrant woman, the first of all three of those to hold this position. I'm sorry, I just need a second. Every time I see that clip, I just get so worked up. <laughs> I'm so excited, I'm overwhelmed. Oh, we showed those racist Republicans. We did it, everybody, we did it. We have a black <laughs> lesbian <laughs> immigrant. <sighs> I'm sorry, just need a second. Se press secretary, holy shit. We did it, everybody, we did it. <laughs> we showed those racist Republicans. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just give me a second. I'm overwhelmed with emotion. What a great day for our nation. Uh, I'm sorry. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> what the dumbest shit ever. The first words out of this bitch's mouth, she's going to tell us she's black, which we already knew. She's going to tell us she's an immigrant. We're a nation of immigrants. <laughs> she's going to tell us that she's a lesbian. And on that last one, we definitely don't give a fuck. Who here misses the time where it wasn't customary to introduce yourself and tell everybody how you like it? <laughs> you know what I mean? What the hell? Raise your hand at home. You, you are there at home. Play along. Raise your hand, please. Because this is sheer madness. Inflation is through the roof. And they think our biggest concern is the black lesbian immigrant secretary. Thank God we have that. Because nothing else is important. Don't worry about the price of everything going up. Don't worry about the fact that <laughs> if this inflation continues, which all the uh, expert economists predict it will, well, we'll end up like, uh, I don't know, Venezuela. Back in the 80s, they were a highly prosperous democracy. They had some inflation. And it destroyed the country to the point, by 95, to the point to where they were eating fucking zoo animals because there was no food. So long-term inflation will ruin a country and it causes also you, you end up with radical, crazy politicians running the country. It leads to drastic, crazy shit like this. I mean, who cares if you're a black lesbian immigrant? Can you just handle the policies that we really care about? Because if that's what you care about... Your priorities are way messed up. <laughs> I mean, look at this story. I'm over here on the pundit. Insanity gas stations in Washington state are preparing for a $10 a gallon gasoline. Can you imagine that? It's already costing me double to fill my tank up. I, I, if it was $10, I don't even know what the hell I would do. I would get a job, I guess, that I could walk to because I certainly couldn't drive. I mean, this is insane. And that's what, that's what they're think we give a shit about? <laughs> I mean, bitch, you're lost. I mean, I, already when I go to the store, there's empty shelves. A lot more than I've ever seen in my lifetime. Pretty soon we're going to end up like Venezuela. Maybe not next week, but if this inflation, this crazy government where we're concerned more about skin color and sexual identity than we are real issues that all Americans are facing. And the biggest one facing us now is obviously we have a lunatic, dementia-riddled old fucking potato running the country backed by globalist idiots who would really don't give a shit about you. Trust me, they don't. They despise America. Obama despised America. <laughs> Hell, I think son Bush was in on it. This whole, for many, many years, we've been going through this where they're slowly tearing away at the fabric of what makes us Americans, dividing us, <laughs> that's their main goal, okay? And they're using race and, and sex, whatever things they can make, they know that people differ on, 
That's what they're going to push. And they're pushing this lunatic, <laughs> loony viewpoint onto regular Americans. I mean, if your biggest concern right now is whether or not somebody uses the correct pronouns when they're talking to you, 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 really, you really have no business voting. And I mean that because that is a non-issue. No one cares. No one cares about your sexual identity. No one cares that you think you're a guy when you're a girl. Nobody cares. That shit don't mean nothing. And quit telling us about it because we don't want to fucking hear it. I mean, you racist Americans need to not worry about record high uh, inflation, record high gas prices, record high... Uh, you can't find fucking baby formula. Don't be concerned that while we have all these problems in America, wide open borders where drugs and fentanyl are flowing across the border, cities that are just falling to pieces and just got bums and fucking drug needles and piss and shit all over everywhere... Don't worry about that. Rampant crime, smash and grab is like in vogue now. Don't worry about that. And don't worry about the fact that while all this is going on, we're going to send $40 billion to the Ukraine to shore up their borders. We won't shore up our own so that we can have a stable economy. But if you say anything about that, you're a racist. And this lady right here, this black lesbian immigrant press secretary, Jean-Pierre, whatever the fuck, she's going to let you know that she has thought that you are a racist for many, many years. And she said it a thousand times. Check this clip out. Trump is running a racist campaign. The grand wizard of the birther movement, which birtherism is inherently racist. By the way, he's a racist and a bigot, which we already knew. It walks like a racist, talks like a racist, acts like a racist. It is a racist. And we saw all these awful voter suppression laws, which yeah. is really racism just yeah. across the country. And we have a racist president in the White House who really pushes his racism like a peacock. Because I'll say this, we knew Donald Trump was a racist. I wanted to ask you, just uh, change the topic for just a quick second, about Donald Trump's uh, racist tweets. The systemic racism and how that has affected our country. Donald Trump is the most outwardly racist president that we have seen in generations. This country uh, needs to start talking about uprooting institutional racism. Fox News was racist before coronavirus. They are racist during the coronavirus. Fox News will be racist after the coronavirus. You need to wake up and stop worrying about what other people think about you because I guarantee you there are way more sane, Republican, conservative, whatever you want to call it, Trumpers, whatever the hell you want to call it, MAGA, whatever you want to call it. There's a lot more of us than there is those. They just make a lot of fucking noise. You need to stop worrying about them or what they might say about you. And uh, how many times have you been called a racist? If you're white, you're born racist. Get over it. Just let it roll right off of you because it's all BS. They're just using it as a control mechanism to get you to shut up. They call free speech racism. I mean, how ridiculous is that? So anyway, let's focus on the issues. Keep driving it home that this guy is an idiot, incompetent, who's trying to tear our country down at its foundation. Stay awake, stay alert, stay informed, and keep banging on about the fact that he's an idiot and he's running our country off a cliff. Anyway, guys, that's all I got for you. I was just so happy when I found out that the press secretary was a black immigrant lesbian. I couldn't control myself. I had to make a video. <laughs> anyway, guys, until next time. Whew, I'm so emotional. <laughs> Be aware of your surroundings at all times. And quit worrying about being called a racist because that shit is tired and played out. Till next time. Be aware of your surroundings at all times because shit be popping off out here. Peace. Peace. Out. I'll lead an effective strategy to mobilize true and international effort to pressure, true and international effort to pressure.
what kind of country we're going to be. Mm-hmm. Four more years of George, uh, George, uh, he uh, is going to find our. Thank you. Got to make-